Hi, welcome. This is the first video for 3dknowledge.com and it's aimed to be a short introduction to the website and some of the features. As you can see in the top left, 3dknowledge.com and some menus over here. I've gone already to Ancient Egypt. This model loads and you can see on the left hand side a picture of the model and the 2D image over here. And if we click, it will load up into a new screen and give us a full screen 3D model of the Great Pyramid of Giza. If we click on each of the annotations, it will give us a little bit of information about the pyramid, in particular with reference to the area that the annotation is in. The model is fully interactive. You can rotate, you can zoom in, you can zoom out, and you can pan. As you can see here, there's some light annotations, and the reason for that is because the annotations are inside the model. And if we were to click on each of these annotations, it would give us a little bit more information about the model or about that particular area of the model. The video link down here goes to YouTube to show a video about the Great Pyramid of Giza. And hopefully that's enough information to get you started or to at least pique your interest for this model. If we back out of there, the website is structured in a way that you have an introduction on the left here, full screen in the middle, and a 3D learning environment on the right. The introduction is more or less just text. There's an image on the left, it's taken from Wikipedia, and then all the text here. And that'll give you just a brief overview of the Pyramid of Giza. If you go to the full screen model, which is just where we were, and the 3D learning interface, the idea of this is to combine some of the text as well as the model, so you can read on the right, and the annotations are linked with the text on the right, and you'll be able to read all the information on the right here, scroll up and down, and then maybe select different areas and the model will sync with the text on the right. For the Great Pyramid of Giza this is obviously beneficial because you get to see the interior of the model. But there are other models as well. Click on mechanical machinery. Here there's some gears on the left. There's an engine here. And there's also animated models. The animated models are used to show how machinery pieces work and how they're constructed and how they all work together. Some of the larger models take a longer time to load and the animated models do generally take longer to load than the non-animated models. And we can see here this is a four-stroke combustion engine and we can see it chugging away. If we want to pause the animation we can do that here. If we want to speed up or slow down the animation we can do that here. And there's another link to YouTube explaining how the engine works. If we back out of that we can go back up to a non-animated model here. This is a four-stroke combustion engine seen from the outside. We've just seen the internals and now we're going to see the exterior of the engine. Again, the model is slightly larger than the last one perhaps, that's why it takes longer to load. These dots all over the engine, these are annotations. And if you click on each of these, you'll get a bit of information explaining what it is. In addition to animated models and normal models such as the engine here, we also have a feature which allows you to explode and assemble models. This is particularly useful if you want to learn about a certain machine or how it's constructed, how it's assembled and how it will look when it's separated out into various parts. We can pause the animation here. This is a plate type heat exchanger and then if we want we can explode it. That is a plate type heat exchanger exploded to its full length. We can then assemble it again. And by clicking on each of these we get a bit more information. The only thing that's slightly problematic as you've just seen is that the model has to be exploded in order for the annotations to work. An assembled model will not work. You won't be able to see the annotations. The screenshot for the annotations is taken from the exploded view only and this is the rule for all models. So whenever you wish to use the annotations for an exploded model you have to explode the model first. If you wish to see it being assembled you can push play and the animation runs now and you'll see the model being assembled. Try to make this as realistic as possible, including the bolts screwing into the frame, etc. We found that the more realistic it is, the more you can learn from it. What we're going to see now is the assembled plate type heat exchanger, and that is 99% of the time how you will view that heat exchanger. If it's not assembled, then it's not doing any work. There are different models here, all of different sizes. We have screw conveyor on the left, board and gauge on the left, and some rather large models such as an animated fire tube boiler. Anyway, that's a brief overview of the website and some of the things that we're doing on it. I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I've enjoyed creating it, and hopefully we'll be seeing you more in the future.